part three is even crazier. I'm back at it again. Things that would send Americans into a coma if they visited Cuba. Preparate. Ladies, number one is for you. There's no tampons in Cuba. Yeah, you heard me right. There are no tampons in Cuba. Maybe you can find them at the resort, but out on the street and anywhere else, they do not sell them. They do sell pads, but it's equivalent to what you would buy at the 99 cent store. So, <laughs> vaya con Dios, chicas. Number two, you get food rations every month. This is the Cuban ration book, as you can see here. And the rations are a joke. They give you one quarter of a chicken per person per month, like six eggs per month per person, rice, beans, sugar, but the rations only last about two to three days. Of course, you can buy more food at the grocery store, but food is very expensive in Cuba. Number three, anything with the American flag on it is supreme fashion. Cubans love the American flag. The amount of times I have seen the Old Navy 4th of July t-shirts in Cuba. <laughs> Number four, a big shocker. Salsa music isn't popular. Yeah, uh, I know you guys saw Dirty Dancing Havana Nights, but that was in the 1950s and it's 2022, mi amores. The most popular type of music in Cuba is called Cubadong. It has yet to be discovered by mainstream media, especially in the reggaeton genre. Should I let you guys listen to it? Man, fuck it, here it is. Number five. You go to jail longer for killing a cow than you do a human. Yes. Yes, do not ask us why. There are people still in jail today that killed a cow 20 years ago. And if you kill a person, you get, I don't know, 10 to 15 years. It's, it's absurd. And number six, the only artist in Grammy history to be incarcerated while winning Song of the Year was a Cuban rapper named Michael Osogbo. This is Michael and this is him in the Padre Vida music video. He secretly recorded this music video. The song became so incredibly popular. It was a song against the government. And in Cuba, you are not allowed to speak freely against the government. So it landed him in jail and he's still there today.